Welcome back to part 36 or 37 of Witcher 3. We're continuing on following close to me. Johnny. I have no idea where he's taking us. And he can't talk. Okay. This the place? Let me look around. <laughs> Snarling. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? How come you can do this? Guess I gotta make this climb. Mm, you have to get up there. It's not that big a deal. And that's it. What now, you piece of filth? Those harpies. Okay. Come here. Come here. Yes. Fucking harpies. Maybe he meant this bottle. Got the bottle. Maybe he did. Let's go back down. Keep the sword out just in case. And away you go. Use mushrooms while we're at it. And there he is. Let's talk. A pack of pickle peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. <laughs> My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yep. Why'd you lose? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Oh, Smudger. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Yeah. Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. So how do you bottle? How do you bottle someone? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. 
defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said, wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. You know anything about the crowns? What do you know about the crowns? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. The woman from the village in the swamp. Who is she? I've been to the village in the swamp. Met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts. Completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. <laughs> she ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Yes. Let's go. The 33 thieves thought they killed the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> This guy's just happy to talk. Why's my health not going up? Damn it. Shit. Ugh. Damn, we got a freaking ball thing. Save the game. Oh, can't yeah, right now. Should be able to now. Save it. Done. Now let's continue. Whoops. They never fight alone. That's what sucks about it. Yeah, you're on your own, buddy. Come on up. Yes, takes damage before he even comes up. That's what I'm talking about. He's down, now your buddy. Some cheap shots in.
It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tail. Okay, I'm back after a interruption. You got your voice back. Yep. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. And it was because of me. Check about the crones or the woman. Let's see what the crones. Can you take me to the crones? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, <laughs> even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. You should have helped me in the first place. Thank you. Why would I skip this scene? Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't Lady like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Always oh, ladies. He's lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. I'm the worm. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? She's a brush. They speak through you? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? Mm. Okay, we're gonna lead off with this snidey remark in the next part. I'll see you then.